no longer call the chapters by the numbers, instead we'll call it by the title. The edition of the book I use may be different from yours. Now, on to water. Here's a quick summary. There are many important roles of water, but mainly we'll talk about sets of them. And all the properties of water are related to hydrogen bonding. So first off, what's the formula for water? Good, and based on what we learned, water has more than one element, so it is a molecule, it is also a compound. H2O means that it has two hydrogen atoms for every one oxygen atom, since the elements are uneven, both in terms of size and type, so... The first two properties of water that make water cool and require it to sustain biological life are cohesion and adhesion. Earlier we talked about hydrogen bond. This chapter is dedicated solely to water. I mean, there are a lot of molecules. Fortunately, we don't have to learn all of them because this isn't chemistry and they're not as important as water. Also, there are many bonds, but hydrogen bond is given a lot of attention because it is the celebrity of all bonds. Very popular. Okay, let's talk more about the first two properties of water, cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion is when the water molecules bond to itself, while adhesion is when the water molecules bond to other stuff, like adhesive tape that sticks to other things. These properties are very important for plants. That's right, because of cohesion and adhesion, trees can save energy and grow to be very tall. So, what did we learn about trees earlier in terms of leaf? Gosh, we got a bunch of kindergartens in the class. No fireball in the class, Goku. Does anyone know how the leaves help the trees? Nicely put, Toru. Sunlight is involved in photosynthesis. What else are involved? There are two other reactants needed for photosynthesis. Sunlight is obtained from above, but how do leaves obtain water? You're so sweet, but you see, the water and the leaves are not absorbed by the tree, they end up evaporated. They do, but they don't get it from the water on it, they get the water from the roots. The roots get the water from the ground, transport the water to the leaves. The trunk and leaves of a tree cannot absorb water. If leaves are permeable to water, then it can just easily lose water through evaporation. The heat from the sun will soak up all the water. Leaves are actually designed to absorb other things instead. The layers on the top leaves will absorb sunlight, and the bottom layer will absorb carbon dioxide. In the bottom layer, there are these tiny little holes called stomata that are designed for the exchange of gases, particularly CO2 and O2. Yes, it will consume a lot of energy, but trees don't have to use any energy to transfer the water up. And that's all thanks to the amazing properties of water, cohesion and adhesion. Water will adhere or stick to the inside cell of the trees and climb up. In enemy series, yes, but not in real life. The water is sucked up the trees by negative pressure, like a vacuum. Story time. How do you water your plants? 